Hey guys, welcome back to Unboxing with Ozzy. It's past Ozzy's bedtime, so you stuck with the pops today. If you uh, recognize these boxes, you know what we're getting into. A little CGC return. It only took a whole year for these to come back, so let's see what we got. I'm excited. This, uh, this showing is going to involve some some wins, some some near misses, and uh, a couple of straight disappointments. Of course, I've already seen, thanks to CGC, what uh, these comics came graded. But uh, it'll be a surprise to you guys. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, box number one. A whole year we waited for these. I'm glad CGC is back on top of business. Fort Knox. Lots of bubble wrap to keep these graded babies safe. Ooh, I'm excited. Top of the stack. The Modiotti from yesteryear, Gen 13. Number one, the first series dedicated to that team. We got the, the newsstand barcode. Came out of 9.8. Super stoked. That's a beautiful book right there. Classic cover. Outstanding. We got a lot of shine. There we go. Beautiful. I love that cover. Quintessential 90s. There's another one. 1993. The Pit. Number one. Man, I got a lot of sunshine. There it is. Man, that's the direct edition. Beautiful 9.8. Ripping first issue. Classic cover. Love that. That's really cool, man. Now, this is special. This was Spawn number 311. Todd McFarlane, black and white sketch tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Man, that's a beautiful cover. They did this one in color too, but the black and white is just awesome. That's so cool. Man, those look really good. Now this one's a little random, number 237. They did this one in a couple of different variant colors. That Day of the Dead image, that's cool. Spawn 237, this from a, a series they did. Like 50 issues that were really limited run. Man, that's cool. All right, that was the really good delivery. Now, this one has got some upsets, but that's all right. We've got some, some really cool classic covers, some 90s stuff, some modern stuff. The big box. Let's start... Let's start with my biggest heartbreak and move up. Oh, right here. This is really sad. 7.5 on a newsstand. I don't know what I was thinking sending that in. They said they gave me some liner notes about the edge having some creases, the cover having some stains. I don't see it, but 
They're the professionals, right? It only took a year to get it back. They should have gotten it right. But it's a sad world. Maybe somebody will pick it up for 50 bucks on eBay. Really cool cover. First appearance of Omega Red. First cover with Omega Red. You barely see that cool carbonadium tentacle coming after the X-Man. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, another really sad disappointment. Oh, this is a cool, cool cover. X-Men number five, the very next issue, full Omega Red on the cover. Fighting Wolverine, doesn't get much cooler than that. Jim Lee art. Too bad it's just a 9.2. Man, glad I waited a whole year for that. But luckily CGC has got some, they've hired on some new help. Finally, they've uh, they've changed the turnaround times to about four or five months instead of 12, 13 months. And we got another X-Men number four. At least this one was a 9.4. Maybe, maybe worth about 100 bucks. We'll see what it goes for. Man, new stand cover too. That's too bad. 9.4 on number four. First appearance of Omega Red. And all right. One more. Sad day. Spawn number two. 9.6, new stand barcode. First appearance of the Violator. We got the Rick Lombardi pinup poster inside. That's cool. Spawn on the gravestones. Uh, new stand barcode, only 9.6. That's too bad. I might just keep that one for myself. Spawn being maybe my... Favorite comic run of my youth. All right, what do we got here? Oh, all right. This is a really cool cover. We're finally getting into the, the good looking ones. We got uh, X Men number one, 9.8. Direct edition. I think that was maybe the most produced comic of the 90s. There were at least five different covers for this book. I think they printed 10 million copies of it. This is the cover C. You put all four of them together and they made a huge scene. All the X-Men fighting against Magneto. Still really cool, iconic Jim Lee. So cool. You read comics in the 90s. You read this X-Men run. That's kind of... Well, most of us remember the X-Men being people of my generation. That awesome Fox cartoon from 93. And then that Jim Lee run. From 1991. All right, here we go. It's the last one. Makes my heart feel good. 9.8. First Omega Red cover. Jim Lee, Scott Williams. First appearance of Maverick. Man, that's such a cool dynamic cover having Omega Red fighting Wolverine. Awesome. Got that new stand barcode. Love it. Beautiful. All right, 
guys. That's that's all for this epic delivery. We got a couple of different shipments. You see one of these boxes in your on your front porch. You know what time it is. Hey, I appreciate you guys stopping in, unboxing with Ozzy one more time. Got some really beautiful books. Got some real sad disappointments, but a lot of good stuff, man. CGC is is number one at what they do. But hey, I uh, hope you stop in again. Come see us on the next video. Thanks a lot. Peace.